Have you ever scrolled through Instagram and stumbled upon the stunning life of Hagia for real? Mona Fiaz Montrej, a 31-year-old social media sensation, paints a picture of wealth, living her fancy lifestyle with luxurious cars, high-end fashion, and attendance at the most elite parties and events. With an astonishing 4.2 million followers, she's not just an influencer, she's a musician, model, jet setter, and sharp businesswoman. Her Instagram fame even places her among Ghana's top 10 profiles, her country of origin. But here's the shocking mystery. Where does she get the funds for this lavish lifestyle? Money doesn't exactly rain down on influencers. It's earned through unstoppable effort and determination, right? Well, that's what we thought until we got deeper into Hagia for real story. You see, the story took a sinister turn when the FBI, America's top investigative agency, turned its attention to Hagia for real. What they discovered shook the foundation of the influencer world. In contrast to her polished online image, Hagia for Real's wealth was not built on talent or clever entrepreneurship. Instead, it was built on a chain of criminal activities and massive online scams for which she will now face the courts, potentially serving up to 20 years behind bars. Montrej carefully planned her entire image to hide her dirty secrets. Thanks to smart FBI agents, her crimes were discovered. Without them, she could have fooled everyone with her perfect Instagram life. But the truth is out now. She has tricked people and has thus accumulated colossal wealth. She's also been selling narratives from rags to riches while manipulating the dreams of thousands of people for the sake of moments of fame and followers. So next time you're scrolling through social media and feeling envious of someone's seemingly perfect life, remember this story. Not everything online is as it seems, but now let's get down to some specifics. What did Mona Fiaz Montrej do? How and how much money did she steal? And finally, how is she caught and what consequences might she face? Asia for Real Story starts in Tamale, a humble town in the northern part of Ghana. Tamale, one of the country's poorest regions, is troubled with limited access to education, water, and food coupled with overcrowding and high crime rates too. Mona grew up here with her siblings, raised by a Ghanaian mother and a Lebanese father. She attended basic education in Tamale and later started high school at Lebon Senior High School, but she never completed any higher education than a basic one. Suddenly, out of nowhere, she emerged on Instagram in 2015, and that's when the suspicious tale begins. Her profile never reflected the background she came from, and she never revealed the source of her sudden wealth. In July 2017, Mona For Real introduced a cosmetics brand for women called For Real Beauty to the market. Meanwhile, she became the owner of several thriving companies specializing in organizing events and parties. In the media, she gained attention for her connections with other famous influencers and her appearances in music videos, including one for the artist Shot a Whale and his song Bulletproof. I go take bullet for you. From then on, her career expanded into the realm of YouTube, particularly in music. But let's not fool ourselves. It's not about extraordinary musical talent. It's about extravagance, wealth showcased in music videos, funds that someone had to provide. In November 2020, Mona For Real released her debut single titled Better Than. Real released her debuted single titled Better Than. This song, along with her subsequent releases, was produced by renowned producers such as Mog Beats and Richie Mensa. In December 2021, she started touring, and if that wasn't enough, in 2022, she was nominated for the Best New Artist of the Year award. But how did someone from a modest background in Tamale catapult into the world of Instagram glam and YouTube music videos? Where did the resources come from? Here's the shocking truth. Her success wasn't a solo act, oh no. She was part of a cybercrime crew in West Africa since 2013, pulling off major scams across America, the UK, and more. And guess what? Her specialty in that shady world? Romantic scams. Intrigued? Well, we'll spill all the juicy details in a bit. But hey, before we unveil the entire scandal, 
we've got a quick favor to ask you. Show us some love by hitting that thumbs up button under the video and hitting subscribe. Your support means the world to us. It helps us expand our viewer base and contributes to our longevity. Oh, and thanks for sticking with us. And now, back to the jaw-dropping revelations. Picture this, a charming stranger enters your life online, showering you with affection and promising a future together. It seems, it seems like a dream, but beware, it's a romance scam. These crafty scammers create fake personas, luring unsuspecting individuals into romantic relationships. Once trust is established, they concoct elaborate stories, manipulating emotions to extract money or sensitive information. These scams prey on vulnerability, leading to heartbreak and financial loss. And this is exactly how Mona for real earned her fortune for the lavish lifestyle she now displays on the internet. Mona for real is accused of managing bank accounts where more than $2 million of fake money landed. Court papers reveal she had accounts in New York and other places too. She'd stash the money there and then send it to other scammers that she was working with. But the worst part? The worst part is that she tricked an older man into thinking they were getting married in Ghana. Apparently, she sent him a fake marriage certificate and made up a story about her family needing help. This prompted the man to end up sending $89,000 to her father's struggling farm in Ghana. And then another victim, for reasons yet unknown, sent the fraudster nearly $200,000. The total amount of the scam is currently estimated at $2 million, although some sources claim it might actually be as high as $8 million. She's facing serious charges, including conspiracy to commit wire fraud, wire fraud, money laundering conspiracy, and money laundering. Now, each of these charges could lead to a maximum of 20 years in prison, as stated by the Department of Justice. Additionally, she's accused of receiving stolen money, which could result in a maximum sentence of 10 years, and conspiring to receive stolen money, carrying a potential maximum sentence of 5 years in prison. You add that up and that's a lot of time. She didn't plead guilty during the trial. In the coming days, she's expected to be placed under house arrest in her New Jersey residence, provided, of course, that she posts a bail of only about $500,000. Her movements will also be monitored via a GPS ankle bracelet confirmed by both her lawyer and the prosecution. And as of now, we only know of six presumed victims, but there might be many more who come forward once the news breaks. Remember, not everything that glitters is gold. Sometimes what shines the brightest is really just tacky bling. But if there is something online that's genuine and worth your attention, it's our channel and our content. So if you enjoy our content and want to stay updated with our episodes, click here to watch our next video. We'll see you there. And I just wanted to say thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with us today.